Hello guys and thank you for joining me. My name is Evgen and today I am finally getting to have a look at the last piston filler made by Hondayan, the N7. Well, I say last, but I am sure more will come on. Let's just say um, last at the time when I'm making this video. The version that I have is the, I assume it's called Sun and Moon or Rabbit and Moon. Uh, because, uh, well, it's a little bit less out there and uh, because I do like the pattern that he has on the cab and uh, the gray tones that he has. Overall, the pen is almost identical with the N1S, but it's a little bit heavier because of the extra weight uh, on the metal base that he has. So, cap is made of metal, the knob filler and the section uh, are all out of metal as far as I can see, and that adds to the weight of the pen. The barrel of the pen, it's acrylic as well, just like the N1S, and it is a little bit translucent as you can see. You can see the piston filler in there. As a fun fact, you can actually switch uh, the N1S cap on the N7. I'll show that as I go through. Actually, let's do it now. Nothing wrong with that but you cannot do it the other way around and also if you're trying to add the cap from the ns ns and six on it it doesn't work either so this video might be a little bit longer than expected because i am planning to do a few things with this uh, pen and i hope i'll get around to do everything that i'm planning so first of all, uh, I want to switch the nib unit from the defective N6 unit, uh, I mean uh, fountain pen that I had, uh, to this um, pen. And at the same time, I want to take apart the piston to make sure everything is lubricated properly. So this way I won't have unexpected uh, surprises uh, on the long run. And I just want to make sure everything is lubricated properly. And to try and see if I can increase the, the capacity of the piston filler. Uh, basically, I want to see if I can tweak uh, the knob position on the piston and if I can uh, raise the piston a little bit higher. Maybe it will give me a point something milliliter extra capacity. I don't know. We'll see. But first, before going all through that, I want to, to go quickly through the fountain pen. So, like I mentioned, this is the uh, sun and moon, but I believe it's actually called something else. If I'll bring this closer to the camera, you will see that on the pen it's actually saying month rabbit. So, I assume this is the month of the rabbit. Uh, at the top finial, you have a cute rabbit with the moon in the background. And again, the pen, the cap, it's metal and it has the sun and moon and rabbit patterns with the month rabbit at the top and a nice, again, repeating the motif of rabbit and the moon. The clip as uh, on all the N uh, versions, uh, it's actually pretty good and useful. Um, doing a quick test to see how it looks like in your shirt. This is what you will see out of your shirt if you keep it in your pocket, which is pretty tucked away as far as I can see. And that clip is actually nice and smooth, doesn't snag at all as far as I can tell, at least in the copy that I have. So, cap made out of metal, unscrewing it will reveal a metal section with the uh, number six nib, which is very similar with the N1S and the N6. And this one, let me get the light right, there you go, is the extra fine. There you go, finally in focus and the nib is exactly similar as the N6, uh, I mean the N6 that I reviewed, and that's why I wanted to um, change 
than even uh, feed because the feed uh, that it comes with is just the regular feed and um, the N6 feed it's a little bit better so why not improve this one if the other one is defective anyway uh, and then you have the section which is metal and the transition from the section to the barrel it's actually not very smooth but at the same time it's not very sharp either you can feel the threads but they're not uncomfortable they don't bother me at least then you have the ink window the piston uh not the piston the barrel for the piston and then the piston knob which is feels a little bit not as smooth as the n1s but after i uh lube it uh, maybe it will be a little bit better and uh, hard to see in this light, but you can actually see the piston going up and down. Let me try and see if I can find, there you go, maybe this. Yeah, you can actually see the piston going up and down. So, this is the piston, this is the, the pen basically. For weight dimension, you can find them in the description. And with that said, I'm gonna go through taking it apart, changing the nib, and uh, trying to see if we can improve the piston filler. So first of all, removing the nib is fairly simple. You just have to cradle the nib and uh, feed uh, in your pointy finger, on your pointy or on your pointy finger, I guess. Hold it with your thumb and then just twist. And that's it, it comes out. Now we're gonna do the same on the N7. And this came out very nicely. We're gonna put this in the N6 so we know we're not losing it. Don't over tighten it, just enough to be feel that it doesn't go anywhere. And we're gonna put this aside. Now, before putting this in, you want to add a little bit of lube. Silicone, basically. Here at the top, you have an O-ring, so just add a little bit. And try and do your best to not put silicone on the nib. And then a little bit on the threads as well. And then you can also add a little bit on the part, body part of the, what is it called? Sleeve for the nib and feed. And then basically screw it back into the fountain pen. Again, just go enough until you feel it's tight and that's it. That's how you change a nib unit. Now for the piston, you will actually need one of these. I finally got one. Uh, just make sure that when you order your uh, fountain pen, ask the seller to include this uh, key and you should be good to go. First of all, open the piston knob. You're gonna have to find the two grooves. One is here and the other one is on the other side. As you hold down that, close down the piston knob until it's nice and tight on that. And against clock or lefty Lucy, turn the piston knob until it comes off. and then just pull it out. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now, disaster happens. Everything just came apart. No, what are you gonna do? Well, first of all, make sure your parts are clean. Second of all, you're gonna have to I got ink on my finger. Where the hell did the ink came from? Interesting. First of all, 
loop your parts. <coughs> I'm actually going to put a little bit of loop on the threads in here. I'm not sure if this is aluminium or plastic. I would assume it's plastic, but it feels kind of sharp for plastic, which is kind of weird. Okay, that's one. Second. Gonna loop this. And last. You put a little bit of loop on these threads as well. No, off camera in there. Okay. Now that everything is nice and looped, what you can do is, first of all, let's start with this. So you see on the piston knob, you see two lines in there. Let me get something to point. So you'll see this line and this line. We're going to use them as guides. First of all, I want to see if I can line up the first line with the edge of this piston. So basically, that's going to be our guide. Something like that. It's secure. So you know what? I'm going to leave it as is just to see if I can actually then you put the that thing in there and you screw it all the way down. I'll leave a little bit of a space to put your key in there. Well, off screen. Put your key in there and tighten it down. Once that is there. Ah, I forgot one thing. Um, I forgot to put something in here. To, <laughs> to see if it actually increases the capacity or not. But I guess you'll have to trust me, I guess. Now we tighten the piston down, righty tighty. Loosen up that knob just a little bit to make sure you don't break anything. And then just, just get it tight. You don't have to go crazy. Open up the piston. Let the key fall out. Test and see that the piston goes all the way down. And let's see if it goes all the way up too. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, I think I did raise it a little bit more. So it is possible. So if you play with your piston, you can actually raise it more before uh, the piston was only up to that line uh, at the edge of the, the barrel. Now you can see the second line. Before I was only able to see the first line. Now you can see the second line. So that means your piston will actually go a little bit higher. Now for today, I wanted to try out a new ink. I got another 500 milliliters bottle from uh, the same seller that I got the previous um, bottle. Uh, unfortunately, since I got my last one, they have changed their uh, inventory. So they don't have like a hundred options of ink. They only have like maybe 10 or something like that. Uh, however, again, not sure exactly what they say here. And I got the 500 milliliters bottle, an empty bottle that I fill it up. And this is a 50 milliliter bottle. And this time I got a free piston filler, which is a Winsong 7363 as far as I can tell. Which, I mean, is not the best pen in the world, but hey, it's a piston filler and it's free. Oh, and uh, I wanted to give a shout out uh, to one of my... Um, uh, viewers and subscribers for helping me out uh, understanding more about the ink. You can see the message here or you can go in the at the uh, N6 uh, video that I have linked here.
to read his comment and maybe converse with him if you really want to. Put, please stand down. Definitely takes longer to put it down now. Put it in the ink. Go halfway, you don't have to go all the way, just to prime the feed and nib. Go back down and then go all the way up. Don't over tighten the knob, just leave it loosely, otherwise it might get stuck in there. Clean up the feed a little bit on the edge of the bottle, just gently, don't push hard. Grab a piece of paper. And this thing seems to be cleaning up quite nicely. I even got a little bit of ink uh, in the threads and it, sh it fell fine. It cleaned up very nicely. Okay. Okay, well, the nib is smooth. Reverse doesn't seem to work very well. So I'll probably not use reverse on this one. But the nib is nice and smooth. I don't see any issues with it. All right, I like this uh, ink. Should be very interesting working with it and drawing with it. It's a little bit light, but maybe that will give me the chance to actually stack up and shade. For today's drawing, I'm going away from my pictures and since uh, it looks like I've been having a sort of a theme with the uh, Honda Dayang uh, Fountain pens, I'm gonna continue that, and today we'll be drawing another bird. Now, this little sucker took me a while to get it right on the paper. I think the proportions are still a little bit wrong, but it'll do for what I have in mind. Um, I believe this is a Pellegrin falcon. I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly. Not a bird person, but I love birds. And uh, this one should be fairly simple. Obviously, it's going to be the same color all over the place. Uh, this bird is way more colorful and much prettier than uh, what I'm going to give it credit for with this ink. And um, I guess I'll get to it. Let's not make things any longer than it should. And I'll see you shortly after with conclusion.
Okay, so with this I think I am done. Um, I really like this color. It's, uh, it's quite funny, when I was using it, basically it was starting as a deep green moss and as it was drying it was getting this um, muddy grayish greenish. I, I really like it actually, I'm really in love with this, uh, with this ink. Now the birdie turned out okay. I think it's my first birdie that actually looks decent-ish. We'll see what the next one will bring. And in the end, this was actually a lot of fun. By the way, uh, as I was uh, uh, as I was saying last uh, review that I did, if you guys want uh, giveaways with this stuff like prints, note it down. Uh, if you would like this one to be uh, as part of a future giveaway, I'll put it in um, on the list. Now, going back to the fountain pen, I know at the beginning I rushed a little bit because I wanted to try and reduce as much time considering that I've done the nip change and the piston uh, modification. Which, by the way, I know I wanted to um, mark it and see actually how much it goes. Unfortunately, I forgot. I even had a small strip in here prepared, but I just forgot about it in the rush. I guess you'll just have to believe me that yes, whatever uh, modification I did, that actually increased the ink capacity on the pen. And um, it's kind of cool, I will say. With that said, I'll try and uh, cover whatever I missed uh, at the beginning. So first of all, the fountain pen performed flawlessly. I mean, I actually really, really, really like this pen. So much so that um, probably it's in my uh, top 10 favorites right after this one. <laughs> They're very really, uh, close uh, matched up on my favorites list. Um, I still give the edge to the one N1S and I'll get into it as to why. So let's start with the positives. First of all, I really like the design and I know a lot of people like it as well. And if you're into something more flashier, you also have the option for the peacock. I might get one of those eventually, but I'm very happy with this one as is. I like its greenish grayish uh, muted look, but still standing up pretty nicely. Um, hey, I just realized it actually matches the ink that I uh, used. No, I did not do it on purpose. This was a happy ending, I guess. Um, second thing, uh, it has a good piston uh, filler. I mean, you have to do a little bit of modification to increase that ink capacity to make sure you get the most out of it. But as you've seen, it's not that hard to do it. It's actually fairly easy. All you need is the actual key. Just make sure you ask for it and then follow my instructions. Take it easy, don't rush it, and I think you'll be okay. And loop everything, basically. And the other thing that I like, it's, well, design-wise, it's very similar with the N1S, and uh, size-wise, is the same. The only thing is it's a little bit heavier. So if you like a heavier pen, probably the N7 it is for you. However, if you like a uh, lighter pen, I would still go for the N1S. Too bad they don't come in different colors. It would be nice to see other colors coming uh, out of uh, Hondi Young on the N1S version. Hopefully they, they, they'll they get to see this email. Bring more colors, please. Now, uh, negatives. Um, first one that kind of did bother me, and you'll probably already seen it. Um, you can see this glue in here. So my assumption is that basically they have this clear section that is the window for the ink and they have the acrylic. And I have I have a feeling that the way this clear it's uh, glued in, it goes all the way to, to the top or something like that, or at least before the threads. And that, it's why I see the glue in there because it's the clear uh, 
plastic that they have in there and it was glued inside and unfortunately that glue was not evenly spread out and that it is an eyesore it, it really bugs me like quite a lot i wish i wish they would have done a better job on that the second thing that i forgot to mention at the beginning is that this pawn this pen does post but it's not as secure as the n1s you feel a little bit of a click i'm not sure if you can hear it but it doesn't it's not as secure and it doesn't go as deep and as such it's quite top heavy you can definitely use it nothing wrong with it so if you like a post-it pen it will work but the balance oh i have a ink this time the balance is pretty much there and without it, it's much better, more in the middle, better balanced. But as you can see, as you put the cap, the balance changes from here all the way here, which is, that means it's quite heavy. And remember, the section is still metal as well, right? So that cap, it's fairly heavy compared with the pen. As such, I much prefer it uh, non-posted. Uh, and this way it actually feels really good. I really enjoy drawing with this thing and even writing is nice. And the other negative thing I guess is that the original feed that comes with this pen, it's not the same as you have on the N6, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, you introduced it in N6 and 7 in theory is the newer model. So why don't you bring the same feed? with this pen because i'll be honest with you i really like the look and feel of this feed much better than generic cheap well not cheap but generic and has no flavor to it basically uh that feel looks much better with that nib as a matter of fact, I, I hope I'll be able to buy a nib unit like this so I can replace it on the N1S as well. So if you bring new piston filler on the N, please continue with this fit. This fit, it's beautiful. I like it. And uh, in theory, that's about it about the pen. That's what I like. That's what I don't like. So basically, arm twisted. Which one would I get? Only in, And I can only get one. This is the order that I prefer, starting with from the left to the, to the right. So N1S, I still like it the most. I just hope I'll be able to replace that feed and hopefully I'll be able to some, be able to buy something separate. I wish they will come in different colors, like, you know, some blues and greens. I will definitely buy those if uh, they come in different colors or they make other colors. I love the NS7 as well. It feels a little bit heavier, which in a way is kind of better. Uh, but I don't like it when it's posted. N1S is perfect posted. And then the 6, it's a good pen as well. I have nothing against it. Uh, it feels great. I like using it. The only problem is, again, just like the N7, I don't like it posted. It doesn't post that well. And at the same time, at least on this material, as I showed in the, the review last time, it leaves some marks on it, which I don't like. But other than that, honestly, you cannot go wrong with either one of them. Choose whatever you like and enjoy it. And the modification that you can do on the piece and you can do on all of them, basically, in order to try and increase the, the ink capacity. The only problem is with the N6, you won't be able to see what it's doing because it's not as translucent as the other two. And I think the Peacock version of the N7 is not translucent either. So you'll probably not be able to see the actual piston there either. But anyway, this, uh, this is it. I, uh, Hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know if you want to add this uh, on the list of the things that you like to see as giveaway sometime in the future. And um, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining me. I wish you a great night and a good day, wherever you are. And uh, all the best, guys. Take care. Bye.